Hi everyone, it's Sunday, January 23rd, 2022, and today I need to make up some emergency uh, sugar rations for my bees. I guess you call it, or I just call it sugar rations, but actually um, I'm going to make some sugar bricks. And last year, about this time, I made up, or I tried the Mountain Camp sugar method very successfully, and I stumbled across this uh uh, way of making bricks probably a few weeks ago. So this year I want to give that a try. It seems to be a more efficient way to do it So uh, let me get you turned around here and I'll show you what I'm going to do So I'm going to use a power drill A 10 pound bag of sugar and I got a measuring cup and a five gallon bucket and that's how I'm going to mix everything in the five gallon bucket And then I got online and uh, ordered these five by seven and a half drip pans and they're they're right at one inch thick and those are perfect because those will fit in the nuke. And uh, I got this in a pack of 50, and I got this off of Amazon. Uh, so they're, they're not too bad. I think I got two packs of these for like $40. So I'm gonna do a 10 pound bag. This is the first time I've done this and see how far it goes. So I'll get set up and turned around here on the ground and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So first I'm gonna take this 10 pound bag of sugar. Now this has been sitting in my shop for a while. And uh, I use this rubber mallet to kind of bang on it and loosen it back up. So I'm going to pour the 10 pounds of sugar in the bucket. A lot of lumps come out of there, so I don't know if that's going to do good. I'm going to break them up pretty good. Then I'm going to start out pouring about a cup of water in here. So now I've got my cup of water in there and I'm going to take this drill and a paint mixer. I'm going to blend it all together. Um, from what I gather, the consistency we're looking for is basically like a snow cone or, or sand on the beach with, with a decent amount of moisture. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the finished product. Uh, it broke up pretty nicely, but see how it'll almost ball up like a snowball. I think that's about the consistency we're looking for. Took a little longer than probably we normally would, since there was a the, the bag of sugar was basically about half solid anyway. But it broke up pretty good. This would probably go quicker with a fresh bag of sugar, but this is what I have. So now I'm going to take and see how many pans I can make up with this amount right here. So I'll pause it and I'll let you know when I get that done. All right, there's the result of 10 pounds of sugar, a cup of water. So it filled exactly six of those little pans. So I'm wanting to make me about 25 of those pans. So it's gonna take about 40 pounds of sugar to do that. I'll proceed in getting that done. And then I'm gonna take them up to the house, put them in the oven, set the oven lows at a go, which is, I think mine is 170. Should be able to bake it for about two hours or so and let it cool off. It should be set up like a brick. Uh, from some of the folks I've seen, they simply put it in a room with low humidity. And right now, cold as it is, uh, I don't know if that'd work or not, but uh, I'm gonna do this oven thing and go ahead and get them set up quicker because I need to get these on pretty quick. So once I get them cooked and everything, I'll, I'll show you the end result uh, prior to putting them on the colony. All right, it's a day and a half later. I've got uh, 18 of these sugar bricks made. They're uh, ready to put on some colonies I have that uh, need some emergency feeding. I've got 15 here that's gonna need it, 10 nukes and five colonies. I'm gonna put those on here in a minute, but I'm well pleased with how these turned out. First time I've ever made these. I think I'm really gonna like it. It's all the work's done here now. All I gotta do is put a spacer and sit this underneath and let it back down and they'll have some food for a few days. I don't know how long one of these will last. I guess it depends on the size of the colony. We're about to have one last, or I'll say one, we're about to have a 
decent little cold snap over the weekend and it looked like if the weather will warm up some next week and that's probably going to allow me to put out some sugar syrup and let them feed on that a few days as well but i'm fixing to go ahead and put these on all the pans come out perfectly that just falls right out the pans are not damaged so I'm, i can see multiple uses for sure out of those uh, aluminum pans i left them up in the house i didn't bring them back out with me but uh we're fixing to get all my stuff together here and get these put on so this is what it looks like i got the bees smoked down when i took the lid off i smoked them down put the brick on here i'm going ahead and putting a little pollen supplement on there I want these colonies that are in this condition to go ahead and start rearing some brood and trying to get an early start on their build ups. They're a little bit small. Uh, when it warms up in a few days, I'll start feeding some liquid along with this, probably in a community feeder. But so far, I like the bricks because it's uh, minimal time in and out. This is the third one I'm on, and the bees are pretty much going ahead and getting on it pretty quick. So I'm hoping this will work out. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to share this uh, trial for me. I know a lot of others have done this successfully in the past and I hope it works for me. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to join me today. We'll catch you on the next one.